By 1874, New Boston residents were realizing the need for a town library. A small group of men privately bought a number of books. They kept them in the private home of Neil McLean, who lived in the center of the village. They were to be used only by members of that group, however. These books were all lost in the massive village fire of 1887. Following that fire, J.R. Whipple, the millionaire owner of Valley View Farm and three hotels in Boston, built the business block that includes Dodge's store, and here he installed a collection of 1,800 books. He maintained this as a public library. When Mr. Whipple died in 1912, his widow and daughter gave the contents of the library to the town. Miss Lena Shearer was the first librarian, serving until 1916. Then Miss Elsie Warren took over, and she stayed in that position for 41 years. There have been 10 librarians in this position thus far. Our current head librarian, Sarah Chapman, has held the position for 44 years up to now, surpassing Miss Warren. In 1927, the square brick building in the center of the village was built as the Wasson Family Memorial and given to the town by the three sons of George Austin Wasson and his wife, Clara Louise Hills Wasson. Robert, George, and Edward wanted to memorialize their parents who had given much to the town. This was the first freestanding library. The dedication was on October 12, 1927, and the ceremony was attended by more than 500 people. This library served the town well for many years as the population continued to grow. In 1966, Reg and Beulah Hayes organized the Friends of the Library, a group supporting the needs of the library and raising money. Still by the 1970s, more space was needed. Solutions were studied and after the generous donation of the land behind the Wasson building by Randy and Gail Parker, owners of the nearby historic grist mill, an addition was built. This was completed in 1982 and was known as the Hayes Warren edition, named in honor of Reg and Beulah Hayes and Miss Elsie Warren. This increased the space from 800 square feet to 2,800 square feet. This worked well for a while. But by 1996, a building committee was appointed to develop a plan to add more space. Warrant articles were placed yearly to try to raise money for a new library, but they were voted down year after year. Finally, the new library was built using donations and donated services. Many, many people gave of their skills, including Roger Dignard, who donated all the architectural work, and Jerry Perrin, who donated all the air conditioning and plumbing, as well as Gordon Russell, who gave the money for the large community room. Site work began in August 2009, and the grand opening was in May of 2010. At 7,000 square feet, it is two and a half times the size of the former library and offers a large conference room, a children's library, a young adult area, as well as a huge community room. Karen Salerno, a local artist and library trustee at the time, designed the beautiful weather vane, which is a heron in flight, guardian of the river that passes by the library. This beautiful library is another jewel in New Boston's crown and continues to support the cultural and educational needs of our community.